Officer, Hello and welcome back. At the control room. I'm in. And I think I found the Halo's weapon systems. Once I've deactivated them, then I'll place the comms beacon. Keep us updated. Jerome, Atriox will be sending everything to stop us. You need to hold the line and protect the professor in the control room until she's finished her work. Won't let you down, sir. The clock's ticking, and we don't have time to drop a base and build it up. You're going to have to rely on turret defenses, so keep them up and running. Really? Fresh troops will be sent in directly from the Spirit of Fire as soon as they're ready to deploy. And all I've right. got all the ship's weapon systems primed and ready, so we'll help as much as we can from up here. Okay, everyone. Let's get to work. Good luck. Ugh, I hate missions where I don't have a base. Still, here we go. And this is gonna do something that probably shouldn't ever be done. I mean, the whole freaking point of the Halos is because they're a weapon. You have to hold the banished back until the professor's done her work. Don't worry, sir, we've got her. And it looks like we've got company right now. This control room has a defensive shield, but it won't last long. You just keep the wolves at bay. Yeah, you know, that's easy. Just keep the wolves at bay. The Spirit of Fire's weapons are at your disposal, Spartan. Get the ship in the fight. Ooh. Turrets and restoration drones are online. Call in support when you need it. The Spirit of Fire is standing by to assist Jerome. Use everything you can. We have to keep the Professor safe. This will be exciting. Yay, you don't have to upgrade. And no limits. Interesting. Right, I'm keeping the nightingales back as you know they're healers. What's broken this time? What the hell do I have to do this for? Of banished, heading to your position, team. Lock and load. No one crosses that line. Which which direction? Okay, that doesn't look like vehicles, so... Ooh! Uh, ooh, I've got garrison points. Ooh, and turrets! They actually said turrets, but I didn't... Or at least I'll be getting new troops as time goes on. Oh, that's new units. I thought that was the thing. The I can't disarm this thing if I'm dead. Yet yeah, we're aware. Oh no, no, it's not. It is just an artillery. Red team. The banished have warlords on the field overseeing their troops. Eliminating them will disrupt the banished's chain of command. Roger, sir. Nothing like sowing a little chaos. Looks like these turrets are one type of upgrade. Leader power ready. Reinforcements are ready for you at the LZ. Alright, that is. Oh, damn, the shield's already taking damage. Fuck. Suicide grunts. Hostiles down. 
Looks like they're focusing on the shield though, so that's good. Just give us the order. Leader power ready. Marines, under assault from enemy ground forces. More suicide grunts. Turret upgraded. I think I'm covered on all fronts though. What happened? Ah, oh, don't. Ah, oh, there we go. Froze a little bit. I was worried that was actually gonna screw up entirely and just like cut out. Alright, so far my losses are pretty minimal. I don't want to turn all the turrets into anti infantry But I feel like right now I need to. I wish there was an op there was a way to und Oh. Interesting. Enemy this one I can. Turret upgraded. Unless I'm changing it. Turret upgraded. Well if I am changing it though, it still helps because now they've got a chopper, I think. Yep, a chopper. Leader power ready. Turret upgraded. What's this? Marines under fire from hostile vehicles. Weird. All right. Under fire from ground troops. So far, I think this is my strongest lane. This one's holding its own fairly well. This one's also holding its own. Oh, spoke too soon. Get yourself in order, Marines. Right, where's some excess units I'm not using? Alright, I don't need them all, so I'm gonna move some of them over here. Alright, that's better. We've lost an infantry unit. Got reinforcements for you now, Red Team. Let's right, see what I got. Turret upgraded. Oh, oh, tanks. Oh, I'm all hogs. Stuff, so oh right, I don't have an anti vehicle turret here. These guys are really annoying. The scorpions are holding off well, but oh damn it. She's complicated. So many protocols. I'm probably halfway there. I need more time. Make it fast, Professor. We'll buy her the time, sir. Okay, I need a few units here. Ready. That's one thing I have overlooked. If the enemy sneak past the gauntlet here, then kind of in trouble. Oh, damn, they've got blister backs. Where the hell did they get them at? 
Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Going. I think this is the first time we've had Grizzlies in the campaign. I wonder if it's going to be a scarab. It would be really cool is if they got a scarab and I got a retriever. Understood. Moving now. Actually, yeah, I'll leave the Grizzlies there. I think that's the only area that I've not really got covered. Leader power ready. One scorpion here. Reinforcements ready for your command, Red Team. Ooh, aircraft, yay. Leader power ready. Alright, two can go here. Just say the word. One here. And one here. This area's got tons of people, so they don't really need. locusts might be a problem. I'm not sure how they work in shields like this one. I mean against cubby shields they're good but I'm not sure about foreigner shields. You don't really fight foreigners in the white players, I wouldn't know. But I think I'm holding the line fairly well right now. are doing Let's well. Got a lot of backup set up in case they do get too far. So far, I don't think there's any huge concerns. Everything's holding its own fairly well. Oop, should probably put some units there. Ah, you know what, it's not a big deal. Frankly, I think it's actually a little bit more helpful to have units up here instead because it's more of a choke point. Red team, reinforcements are ready for you at the LZ. Ooh. What are my orders, sir? Mm. All I'm split them up. One here. Prepping for lockdown. Calculating and trajectory. One here. We got an incoming scarab. Stay on target. Sir, this is what we're here for. He's going the wrong way, though. The Condor's on the way, Captain. Nothing like live combat to test a new design. My crew is ready for action, sir. Where do you need us, sir? Target that scarab. We can't let it reach the control room. Yeah, I can take it out anyway. Hurt, guys. As you wish, sir. Funny, it used to be that the Vulture was the super unit for the UNSC. So like two Vultures were... Or Commanders. So the two Vultures were equal to one Scarab. I'm assuming that's no longer the case because... I'm Condor. Ooh, he's got a shield! Aside from the soldiers, you're losing for this. Oh, 
I always find it a little cheesy when you get like a military and it's like, I'm not leaving anyone behind. But I mean, how many soldiers are you going to lose on this? What is essentially a personal errand for you. I mean, I get they mean a lot to you, but you do have more people as well. I've got to say, that scarab did not put up much of a fight. I mean, granted, I did also have that bombing run and everything, but I don't think the condor was really necessary. Him back a bit. Hostile is taking a well deserved dirt nap. Let's go. Leader power ready. Do I have the anti air units? I don't think I do. Apart from the turrets, which I've got to make anti air. Can we get some anti air support ASAP? It sounds like the banished are trying to punch through the shield. I need some help here. Turret upgraded. Turret upgraded. Turret upgraded. Turret upgraded. Turret upgraded. Turret upgraded. Can anyone get these off my back? Alice 130 reporting for new troops. These turrets are really good. Under fire from enemy air units. Too fast, those are quanta actually. It's cool to see the UNC use lasers. This is a good. Enemy air units trying to take me Ooh, down. I got a vulture now. Leader power ready. We've got right. reinforcements for you now, red team. Over. Back and let the drones do their work. Alright, two vultures. <laughs> it's a little distracting. You know, I mean like people are people are dying out here, but no, we're distracting you with our deaths. And all the people that are getting killed. Like not not humans, I mean like, you know, there are deaths on the human side, and there are humans that are killing banished. A lot of blood. Guts and other stuff. We're getting shelled down here. In the morning flame. Ooh, got blistered. Wait now. Wait, are those? Ah, oh, jeez, now I forgot. Ah, oh, they've got two. I think the bl Oh, those are the blister bags. Okay, I think the anti-air stuff are called reavers then. Got bogeys on my tail, can't do a thing about them! Got eyes on enemy forces, be advised. ODST is under fire from enemy vehicles! The enemy has destroyed one of our structures! No easy next Wait, time. I don't see structure? Sir, we won't be able to hold them off indefinitely! Yeah, we're doing a pretty good job. The communications array is ready, Captain. You said it yourself. You can't leave until the banished are gone. I found something down here that'll help. What? Whatever it is, it better work, Professor. Is it one of those retrievers again? I just had a thought though, if this haven's going to reach, well, near reach, why do they need to leave? I mean, Isabel's informed them that, you know, reach has been recolonized, I suppose is the word. And I mean, they're intending to see UNSC people anyway, so why not just, you know, wait here, get the reinforcements, and, you know, come back with them? I mean, I know they need troops, but. Is this really like a do or die situation? Plus it would it would ensure that it makes it there safely. I mean even with the firing mechanism removed, if the banish took control when everyone else left, then they could destroy the SOS signal. Oh. Through. 
Aatrox. You think you can stand against me? I who defy the Covenant itself. Here's your notice, Atriox. The Ark is our home now, and it's under our protection. Cut it, Isma. I've heard enough. Captain, I didn't think you could make him any matter, but... Spotted a threat. It's hard to believe someone who could, who could face off the Covenant like that is... You know, losing in such a manner. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. But it's only a matter of time before they send more. Professor, what's the plan? I've gained control of the Halo's gravity anchors, Captain. Get our troops clear and get ready. Okay, okay, that's a clever idea. I'm not fully sure I understand how, but... I assume there's some clever plan now to manipulate the Ark's life support systems against the Banished. Okay, I think they're all coming... Oh no, they are not all coming from that side. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. But it does seem like oh nope, never mind. There's a scarab coming that side too. Send me in. Alright, all these units are going here. Oh damn, did it climb over the rocks? Well done. Oh we got one. Nice. I need to move every single unit I've got forwards. I can hold for two minutes, but you know what? I want these things down. Who does an objective for it? <laughs> oh. That was probably immersion upsetting, but you know what? I really wanted to see. Let's do it. Damn, I, I took them all down. Hey, give me credit, I killed three scarabs. I'm proud of that. You know, I took them all on. Our troops are clear, Professor. Whatever you're gonna do, do it now. Wait, are they clear? I mean, what, what's, what's the clear area? Oh, here we go. Since what if Halo's been able to do this? How freaking long have Halo's been able to do that? How have they ever had a problem with like flood outbreaks on Halo's if they could do that? If they could just jettison whole sections? Like seriously, in Halo 1, once Guilty Spark realized that the Halo's, I mean sorry, the Flood Escape Containment, why didn't he just jettison the research facility? And I mean, he was built to run that place, he should know more than she did. Professor, 
Professor Anders. There must be some way... Don't worry, Captain. As soon as I'm back to the Sol system, I'll get that beacon out. It should only be a few weeks. Professor! Until I can figure out how to get back to you. Hi, Anders. Captain? The other teams are clear? Yes, sir. ETA to the Spirit of Fire is five minutes. Bring up the map. We have a lot of work to do until she gets back. I kept it. Ooh. Just the banished? Oh, yep. Yeah. You know, I get that last bit they were trying to show the banish is still Fred, but I I'm proud of all of you. I can't recognize them as a Fred given how this entire campaign has gone. They were held up as like such a huge, hugely powerful enemy and You know, look, I mean look what's happened really. They've lost to a single ship. Well, anyway, that was the last mission. I got close to a gold. I'm gonna be honest, that Anders thing really didn't seem that sad though. I mean, it's not like she's died or anything.
Alright, I think we're close to the end now. We're up to the special thanks. It's like spirits. Uh, maybe it's a company. I should really figure out how to turn off notifications when I'm recording. I think I used to do it actually, but I kind of forgot. Huh, they're two voice actors for Anders. Odd. Alright, well, <clears throat> that was the end. And, ooh. <laughs> this is funny to see the ring do that. What's happening? Why did we drop out of slip space? I wonder how long the journey is. Really wise to go wandering around the halo. I'm pretty sure it has wildlife. Oh fuck. Well Cortana's gonna be pissed. Looks like Cortana and her army of AI have found the Halo. Mission complete. Yay! Well, anyway, that is the end of that. Um, I will be doing the Banish campaign when it's released. I hope it gets a good few missions. And I will also be doing the 
er, Operation Spear Break, yeah. Spear Break, or Spear Point, or something, something about spears. All right, I know it's about spears, so that narrows it down. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you have, please like or subscribe. 